Hello and welcome. In this video, we'd like to show you how to generate basic reports using the Breakthrough Stats app. The first thing you'll need to do is navigate to the report section by touching the reports button at the bottom of the screen. Once here, you can generate a report for any game that you've tracked thus far. Keep in mind, if you've tracked several games, it might be useful to filter these games by league, team, or season using the three buttons up here on the left-hand side. Select a game that you'd like to generate a report for by touching it, and then you can choose the report type you'd like to use. Game statistics are a general report useful for parents, coaches, and players to see some of the general statistics for the game. Key game stats are mostly useful for coaches. The play-by-play -play is useful if you'd like to see the entire play-by-play -play of the game. Keep in mind that you can also track multiple games using the multi-game summary reports. This allows you to do game stats and key game stats for multiple games at the same time. So let's take a look at some of these different reports. I'll select the game I'd like a report for by touching it. I'll choose Game Statistics, and then I'll select the Thunder as my team by touching that. You can also choose specific players that you would like to see reports for, but in this example, I'll just leave it on all players, and then I'll touch Generate Report. You'll notice in the left-hand column, we have a list of all our players, and then following their number, we have all of the stats that we've tracked for this game. These are stats like two-point shots, two-point assists, the percentage of two-point shots made, all sorts of other very useful information as well. Keep in mind that the information that you see will be dependent on the information you track during the game. So for example, in this game, I did not use the shot chart, so in the layup columns, you'll notice that I have zeros across the board. This isn't because there weren't any layups made, this is because I didn't track where the shots were made from, so there's no layups recorded specifically. So, whenever you're tracking, keep in mind that the more information that you're willing to track, the more detailed reports you'll get. But, if you're just looking for simple stats like shot you can track that very easily. If we scroll down, we notice we have several more columns of very useful data, things like paint attempts, offensive rebounds, defensive rebounds, all sorts of stuff that's very useful to look at. One column we want to point out specifically is this VPS column. VPS is a player rating that's calculated using numerous stats to give one number indicating the overall performance of any player in the game. The higher the score, the better. A score of one is good, any score of two or more is excellent. For more information about this or any of the other statistics tracked within reports, touch the Help button, and then touch Reports Definitions, and here we have definitions for all the different statistics shown within the reports page. So if there's anything that you see that you're not sure of, you can get a lot more information using this Help button right here. For help with reporting in general, just touch the Help button and then touch the Reports tab right here, and you get a quick breakdown of the process for how to use the Reports tab in general. If I keep scrolling down, you'll notice I just have general team statistics here, and then a running score throughout the game at the very bottom. I'll touch Done here, and let's take a quick look at the key game stats. Now we mentioned before that this is mostly useful for coaches, so I'll touch Generate Report to look at this. And here we see the top level stats and the difference between the two teams. So this is really just a quick breakdown to see the field goal attempts, the effective field goal percentage, and a couple other stats that will be very useful for you as a coach to know which areas you need to work on. So if we need to practice free throws more or do more passing drills, that will be very apparent looking at the statistics on this page. I'll touch done here. And the last one we'll look at real quick is the play-by-play. -play. So I'll touch the play-by-play -play, and then I'll touch generate report. And here we just have a quick play-by-play -play of everything that happened within this game that we've recorded. Keep in mind that you can export all of the reports by touching the export button in the top right corner. And you can choose to export either as a PDF or a CSV file. Now we would personally recommend using the CSV file because then you can open that in something like Google Docs or Excel and you can sort the information by number and value to get a little bit more out of the reports. Thanks for watching. If you have any additional questions or comments, please don't hesitate to contact us.